Welcome back, y'all. Another video, uh, Fishing Planet. It's me, Ryvan. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, last video, I just put that one out, actually. I said I was going to do some more videos at St. Croix. So, I'm still here, grinding, having a really great time. Amazing time. If you guys are uh, on the grind yourself, low level, uh, you know, hey, don't stop grinding. Keep on going, because I was in your shoes. I know how it feels. With that being said, today, in this video, I want to do some uh, experimenting, theory crafting, if you will. Like, uh, how do you call it? Yeah, theory crafting. Sorry. Alright, anyways. Let's talk about the weather for pike fishing, right? So, I'm going to go over different peaks, different weather, like cloudy, sunny. I want to go over different water temperatures, air temperatures. And I want to go over uh, AM peaks versus late evening peaks. So that being said, I'm at the king of the green, king of the green bay. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Sorry. As you can see, I already caught three fish on this on this net today. So, four thousand three hundred dollars. I'm st still using shiners. I'm still fishing. So I'll show you where I'm at. Same spot, like I just said. And the depth, I'm using 18 inches. The reason for that is it's sunny. So with that being said, the water is going to heat up a lot faster throughout the progress of the day. And yeah, so I'm going to see what I get, how fast bites come and go. I'm going to see if the bites slow down as the, the sun rises more. And I'm also keeping an eye on the temperature in the top left. Uh, water temperature, air temperature. So I already got a bite there, so that tells me that... 5 a.m. or well, 5 a.m. is pretty active, All right? Now, I don't want to talk too much in this video, so again, this is gonna be like a theory crafting series right here, since I'm since I'm grinding and I don't really want to get bored, so uh, I apologize for rambling. So a trophy northern pike, six odd hook, barbless shiners, 5:30 a.m. sunny. Water is, I would say the water is decently warm for Michigan. Not a bad fish, right? So 420 XP, 1600 cash. All right, put them back. I right, keep them actually. I would release them, but I kind of want that money. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So now, speaking of my low level journey and all that good stuff. Um, I was going free to play the whole time. I still am. I will not buy any DLCs, any packs. Uh, yes, they look amazing. I want to support the devs, of course. But what I did purchase today was a month of premium. So, uh, now that I mentioned that, uh, a month of premium, you know, my friends kept saying, hey, if you want to, you know, get your grind going a little faster, more cash, XP, you know, if... What I'm saying is, if you want to get your time's worth, your money, okay, go ahead and get premium. If you can't afford it, by all means, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to sit there and feel bad because other people have it. I kind of feel bad seeing people have premium. And I said, you know what? I'll give in. I'll buy it. And I did. So, um, yeah, you don't have to buy premium, though. If you guys want to grind and enjoy the game for what it is, go do it. But this video, like I said, I don't want to talk too much. Uh, I want you guys to see the bite rate, the fish, the time of day, the weather, uh, water temperature, air temperature, you know. Um, again, my net is not the biggest. That's another That's another thing I will point out in the next video. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't watched, you don't, you don't watch the whole thing, you know, hey, uh, it's Fishing Planet. It's a wonderful game. I love it. I've been playing for nine days now, and it has been the best time of my life playing this game. So, uh, the people are great, the community is great, a lot of cool people play this game, and yeah, I, you know what, actually it is a great community, so with that being said, I'm going to stop talking, I'll do some fishing, and you guys keep on grinding, keep on fishing. Uh, if you have any trophies, uniques you guys want to talk about, brag about, uh, I'm more than more than welcome to listen about your fishing catches stories. So, 
y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Stay tuned.